Our parasha this week, Truma, contains the Jewish world's first building campaign. To gather the materials needed to construct the Mishkan, the Israelites' portable sanctuary, God instructs Moshe, let them take from me a portion from every man whose heart moves him. Over my 20 years serving as a congregational rabbi, I am blessed to have been a part of two successful building campaigns. And in each case, I witnessed tremendous acts of generosity, many instances of people's hearts being moved to give. Yet I have never been witness to a mass phenomena of giving like I saw from our congregation in response to October 7th. During our vigil on October 9th and in the weeks after, I saw so many of your hearts move to give for Israel in powerful and significant ways. And as your rabbi, I've been blessed to bear witness to many of your acts of generosity, your true moat. The portions you gave and continue to give were and are inspiring. And while I can't speak for the other TBS members who have helped to distribute these funds, Len Bergman, Debbie Dubowski, and unofficially Yaakov Ringler in the beginning especially, your generosity has given me the repeated opportunity to experience recipients' thankfulness and appreciation. It is through your giving I have received on behalf of the temple countless thank yous and expressions of deep and personal gratitude. Watching the money go out and having now had the opportunity to visit our money in action in Israel has been a profound experience and one I am a part of because of you and on your behalf. If I can, I want to share that overflow of love and thanks, that sense of having made a real difference in the Israeli lives. And I feel compelled to do my best to share with you because it's really yours. Before Shabbat, let me share one story with you that I know will lift your heart. Last Wednesday, our mission sponsored a cookout for soldiers on a base just outside of Gaza. As it turns out, this base is home to a mixed gender battalion of reconnaissance troops. And through our partnership with Yashar Lechayal, and by incredible happenstance, our community purchased new helmets for a bunch of young women serving in this very unit. Sean, our guy on the ground, he often distributes the equipment in Israel and he sent me pictures of the women receiving their gear. Armed with just a picture on my phone and hoping to find someone who might recognize one of them, I approached a chayelet, a woman soldier, and asked her, do you recognize any of the women in this picture? Imagine my surprise when she joyfully shouted, that's me! And I explained how I came to have her picture on my phone, and I shared with her that Temple Beth Sholom had purchased those helmets for her and for her soldiers. She was overjoyed to meet us and to get to know us. She made us feel so, so appreciated that she appreciated it so much. And I want you to have that feeling. It was incredible, but it was yours. Now, true mode, gifts from the heart make a real difference in the world. And as we head into Shabbat, I hope you are inspired by our collective generosity and effectiveness in giving, and inspired by our Parsha to ask ourselves, what, what is my truma? What is my gift of the heart going to be this coming week? Shabbat Shalom. And please remember to share and also follow me at Am Yisrael Rabbi.